It's Football Weekly, the digital edition, along with Rick Neuheisel and Glenn Parker. Mike Yam with you. UW, here's the good news. Do we, yeah, Thank you. Glenn Parker. Thank I'm you. sorry, you want to do that again? Glenn my Parker. My presence speaks for itself. Really. Uh, UW, you. here's the good news for Chris Peterson's you cast program. You a big shadow. They are 2-0 and right now. The interesting thing is the way they're winning these football games. We saw in week one, they squeaked out a close one against Hawaii. Another shootout, at least, in week number two against Eastern Washington. Glenn, what's... What's the identity of this football program as they now get set to take on Illinois? You know, what, this is a, a, a team in transition, and, and you've been there a lot of times. It's a team that's got a new coach, a new message, a new offensive language, defensive language to learn. They're still feeling their way with their personnel and how it matches up to what they want to do, and, and the coach is still feeling his way with how he's communicating with these guys. They're playing. They're, they're about to find a team very much like themselves, a team that's 2-0. It hasn't been really beautiful wins for them. They, you know, they, they, they've struggled some, too. but. You, you have to think that the amount, sheer amount of talent at Washington and the coaching prowess of, of Chris Peterson is going to get it together a little bit each, uh, a little bit more each week. And I think you're going to see an expanded game plan this week for this game compared to what they've had the last two weeks. They're going to put more on Siler Miles because last week was his first week back after the suspension. They're going to be just fine. I think he's hit the nail on the head. I think this is a work in progress. I think uh, Chris Peterson is doing a nice job in trying to experiment and see what he has in terms of uh, resources, both offensively and de defensively. Uh, they ran into a buzzsaw last week against Eastern Washington and Vernon Adams, who, who has been phenomenal in his two performances against Pac-12 foes. But I look for this team to get a step better. I think the defense won the game in week one. The offense won the game in week two. Siler Miles, a week more comfortable in the system. They're more comfortable knowing what Siler Miles is capable of. I think they tailor the offense to Siler, and I think you're going to see much improved production. And it's a, also, it's a Big Ten opponent. Yeah. Say what you will about Illinois being down over the last couple of years. This is a Big Ten opponent. It's going to get a big kind of fever uh, in terms of the uh, stadium and, and the fan I interest. I, I like the Huskies this week. I think they're much improved from the first two weeks. You worried about that defense? I mean, he just makes Rick makes reference to Vernon Adams had seven touchdowns in that game. Is that an Am I, well? You you have to be simply because the the amount of points they've given up. But I'm not worried about them personnel wise. I'm worried. I just think this is a, a communication and learning phase for them. They have talent. They'll be fine. One thing that was evident in both the first two weeks is how good Chris Peterson is at managing a game, mm -hmm. keeping track of where things are strategy late in the game. He's been really, really spot on. Washington hasn't had a coach who could do that. I don't know since when. <laughs> Sark? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to... So it begins. Of, just sort of come so up with So it begins, yes, my friend. Right. Another take that a different uh, direction. I didn't want to, you know, for, I'm, I'm coming to your aid. Uh, it doesn't happen don't often. Don't do that. Yeah, I know. I'm it's, uncomfortable with it. That. It's, it's doesn't happen often, so don't <laughs> get used to it. For everything that's happening around the conference, all you have to do is log on to pack-12.com. A lot of eyeballs on UW and Illinois in week number three of the college football season.